Hey guys, welcome to this uh, episode of In the Car with Go Javi. Today's episode is the importance of knowing who we are. Okay? It's not just important to know who we are, but how is it important? How can it impact our lives in a positive way when we most need it? And simply when you're at your lowest, when things are not going your way, and and it's been prevalent all over lately, you know, people getting sick, people not feeling good, people depressed, it could be it could be the climate. It could be, uh, and I and I don't mean climate change. Please, uh, it's just you know seasonal depression. It's colder, uh, so obviously people are not feeling at their best, and that's why I brought up at the beginning, knowing yourself will help you get out of that rut, get you of that little down or negative phase, or even depression, God forbid. How so? So let me get straight to it. Who are you? And that's a question I ask everyone when they see me, whether we're training, whether we're doing uh, life coaching, uh, tutoring, whatever the case is, we always end up in a conversation where it's like, what type of person are you? Are you someone that's going to quit when things are hard? Are you someone that's going to run away from challenges? Or are you one that's going to fight, that's not going to be afraid to fail, that's not going to be afraid to make mistakes, that's always going to try and do its best? So it's a very simple question. And who are you? Like, I'll take myself, for example. I'm a father. Uh, I'm a trainer. I'm a coach. I'm a very loving person. I'm very selective, extremely selective as well, but I love to give, I love to help, I'm very sensual as well, so all these things are me, I'm, a, I'm an intellectual, I like to train, so that's Coach Avi. ask yourself that same question, who are you, what do you like, what keeps you going, if someone had to describe you in one or two words, who are you? Imagine what they would say and whatever they would say it would be because they see what you don't see, you know, and others perspective, others opinions also uh, may help us introspect and project a better image. So find out who you are and it doesn't take five years, 10 years, just a simple, you know what, I'm a good person. That's good enough. Now. How do we use that? How do we use the chokhmah, the knowledge that we just gained of who we are when we're down? And it's very simple. The same way when you see a friend or a family member that's down, that's not having a good day, that's not having a good week, you're there for them, right? Hey, how's it going? What's up? What's going on? You know, things are going to get better. Okay, tell me what the problem is. And you help. The same way you're there for someone else, for the stranger, for the outsider, you have to be there for yourself. And sometimes words aren't enough. Sometimes saying, it's okay, it's going to pass, or it's okay, you know, I'm tired today, Let, let's, let's rest, which is very normal. But the problem is, when you get into habituation, which I use a lot and psychologists use it enormously. When you get into the habit of becoming comfortable and finding an excuse to feel down, to feel bad, to not be motivated, to not be up to par of what you're usually doing, that is very dangerous. I don't want to get into the Adlerian psychology where uh, he reverses the roles. I will get that We'll get to that another time. And I think I've mentioned it before. I want to keep it simple today. So how do you help yourself? By being who you are. I've mentioned the past week or two, I haven't been 100% mentally, emotionally, physically even. And I'm not trying to say it. I accepted that I'm not a robot. I'm not a machine. I'm not a cyborg. But I do train like one. I do think like one. But I have to accept that I'm not one. So I... 
what do I do? I kept doing what I do. I kept doing what Coach Avi does. I kept doing what Avi likes to do. And that's to train, to read, to gain knowledge, to enjoy the kids, to watch a movie, to talk to family, to go see my dad, my mom, speak to my siblings, continue training, even though it's not, it's not easy and it's a chore. Keep on going, keep on going. Stick to who you are. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm, I'm honestly, I, I'm sure I'm gonna read a book and whatever I'm saying now, I'll be like, damn, Avi, you got it again without even studying about it. Once again, remember what Dr. Kahneman says about S1 and S2 thinking. If you don't know about it, look it up. S1 intuitive, S2 which is analytical. Stick to who you are because when you're at your lowest, that's when you need yourself the most. And if you don't know who you are, if you don't know what fires you up, How are you supposed to pick yourself up? Do not ever, ever, ever depend on anyone else to boost you up, to validate you, to to get you out of this rut. Yes, friends will help, absolutely. Do not think black and white. It helps, but ultimately, ultimately, it's you, your own self that you consciously know that will get you through those rough patches, those negatives, the, the, the biorhythms that I say, you know, the ups and downs. And it's when at your lowest, when you're at that concave part of the, of the, uh, the curve, that you need yourself the most. And the way to get out of that is to continue doing what you love. Continue doing what makes you a unique human being in this world. Like we know... God created the world just for you.